Praise God. We just thank you and praise you for tuning in today. We thank the Lord for being with us. Amen. Today is uh, Dr. Anthony Bright and Dr. Therese Bright. We're your hosts. We're the founders and pastors of World and Christ Ministries. And we're so glad you tuned in to um, be taught today about living in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. And the scripture we're going to start out with is Galatians chapter 5, verse 18. Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 5, verse 18 reads, But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, and heresies. Praise God. See, so you can either live in the Spirit or live in the flesh. When you say live in the flesh, it means your own nature, which is not controlled by God. Amen. See, the old nature you were born with, and there are 17 works of the flesh in Galatians chapter 5, from 17 to 19. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But you can choose to live in the Spirit when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The Spirit of God comes to dwell in you, and He'll give you a new heart. Take out the stoniness out of your heart, take out the hardness of your heart, and put His presence, His love, His truth in you, Hallelujah, His Spirit in you, so that you can what? Live and obey Him. Obey the Holy Spirit. To live in the Spirit, Hallelujah, means to abide in the Spirit, not to live in the flesh. Right. See, to live in the flesh brings corruption. To live in the Spirit brings life abundantly, Hallelujah. And we choose which part to, to live in. See, when we obey the word of the Lord, we are living in the Spirit. When we read Galatians chapter 5, I think verse 20, 25. 24, 24 and 25. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Okay, see, the flesh is on the way. How do we crucify the flesh? Through the help of the Holy Spirit. You cannot crucify your own flesh. Are you kidding? The flesh loves attention. The flesh wants to be pampered. The flesh wants to have its own way. And the flesh drives so many people to hell. <laughs> That's yeah. what we need to crucify the flesh by the help of the Holy Spirit, by the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You have to acknowledge. Yeah, you have to uh, abandon your will. See, your will, your way, your wants. Amen. You have to put your will to the cross. Amen. That's why um, Jesus said, uh, take up your cross and follow me. Amen. Your cross is putting your will, your desires, your your wants, your uh, um, thoughts to the cross. And uh, allow God to take over and yield your will to the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you can live in the Spirit if you yield your will on an ongoing basis to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Not make your own decisions, but consult God and go His way. Amen. Amen. And so many people today are leaning on their own understanding, they're, they're doing their own thing, and yet they want God to bless it, and it doesn't work that way. Amen. We have to yield our will on an ongoing basis. See, and we also us to oppose our flesh, oppose things which were, we gratify the flesh, and cooperate with the Holy Spirit. That's how we live in the Spirit. Yes. And there's life and peace. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And evidence of living in the Spirit, you have rest in every side. No stress. Amen. Rest. Peace. peace. Amen. You only peace. Amen. Praise God. And verse 25 says, Let us, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Okay. So your walk will determine where you are living. If you are living in the flesh, you walk in the flesh. Live in the Spirit, you walk in the Spirit. The you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Because if you walk in the flesh, then you um, show fleshly fruit. Oh, yes. And if you live in the Spirit, you show fruits of the Spirit. Love, yes. kindness, meekness, gentleness, temperance, long-suffering. Amen. All those are the fruits of the Spirit. See? And see, and those fruits are, will remain on the on the branch. You and I, we are the branch. As long as we are, remain attached to the vine, through obedience, through submission, through cooperation, and not oppose the Holy Spirit or grieve or vex the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. then we can bear the fruit of the Spirit. It's not a struggle. Just remain attached, remain connected, remain united with the Holy Spirit. Stay in union, stay in communion, friendship with the Holy Spirit. Then you can live in the Spirit. As you live in the Spirit, then you can move with the Spirit because you walk in the Spirit, because the Spirit is always walking or moving. Amen. Praise God. From one space to another, that you are not stagnant, Christian. You are growing in grace, in the wisdom, in the knowing, understanding of the Holy Spirit of the Living God. Praise God. Let's see what Jesus said. In mm -hmm. um, we're going to go to John chapter 15, uh, starting at the third uh, third verse. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. 
Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide, it abide in the vine, no more can he accept he abide in me. So here we, <laughs> Jesus is telling us that we have to um, abandon ourselves, cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and abide in him so that we can bear the fruit which is a uh, fruit of the Spirit. It says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. Okay, how do I abide in him? Through obedience. Amen. Whatever it does to do, do it. That's why I abide in him. Abide is not just trying to do all religiosity and tradition, religion, and legalism. Abide in him is simply obey. You know what the mother of Jesus said in John chapter 2, verse 5? Whatever he say unto you, do it. How do you do it? With willing and grateful attitude. Hallelujah. When you are in the spirit, your attitude reflects it. We are in the flesh, your attitude reflects it. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. That's why we cannot switch from flesh. You cannot switch from the spirit to the flesh. You need to stay in the spirit. Because when you are in the flesh, you are sowing bad seed. And those seeds, when you sow it, you sow, seed, you sow bad flesh, seed, you reap a corruption. Amen. See, we want to sow good seed in obeying in our body, remain connected, attaching to the vine. Jesus is the vine, you and I are the branches. We just remain hanging on Him. Then we automatically bear the fruits, the presence, the glory, the anointing, hallelujah. No, if all. I know if our own human effort, but with the help of the Holy Spirit. We continue to walk in the Word. That's how we abide with Him. Amen. To continue to walk in the Word on an ongoing basis. We have to ask the Holy Spirit to help us. If you're finding it difficult or you're struggling, say, Holy Spirit, come and help me both to will and to do your good pleasure. Amen. So that I can uh, walk with you and walk in God's Word. Because none of us, like my husband said, none None of us can live this Christian life on our own. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. Oh, it is. And that's, <laughs> that's why we focus our ministry, main focus of our ministry is talking about the Holy Spirit. Because it's the Holy Spirit who's helped us uh, make it this far. Amen. Amen. See, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Provide you don't leave Him and do your own thing. <laughs> Amen. Praise Amen. God. And uh, as we continue reading in Ch um, John chapter 15, starting at the 6th verse, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. You see? Jesus shows the example. Amen. In the way, the truth, and the life. Abide, obey. We obey the word of God, hallelujah, and see how much the fruit you bear, the fruit of God will bear in your life. You don't have to struggle to produce fruit because you are living in the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit will be manifest. Amen. So are the gifts of the Spirit will be manifested. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. It takes away the struggle. Yes, it takes away the struggle. Because it's God who worketh in you and I, both to will and to do his good pleasure. He also says in Philippians chapter 1, we have the circumcision, worship God in the spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus. I have no confidence in the flesh. That's Philippians chapter 3, verse 3. See, our confidence is not in us, it's in him. It's, it's not our ability, it's his ability in us. We tap into it Amen. by decreasing through humility. Not to self-dependent, but through Holy Ghost dependent. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for audience. Okay. All right. And um, briefly, to back up what you were saying, mm -hmm. I just want to read Psalm 91, verses 1 to 3. Okay. It kind of sums up what you're saying. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, which is walking with the Lord, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That means that person will be protected. Mm -hmm. And I, I will say the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. Amen. Amen. Uh, we don't have much on the air. Those who don't know Jesus, pray this prayer. Say, Jesus, Jesus forgive my sins. Forgive me for my Save sins. me now. Save me. I'm now. yours forever. I'm yours forever. Now fill me up fill with me your up Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit. And fire. And fire. God's healing someone right now. You have chest problem. Christ is healing you. And someone has bone cancer. The Lord told me he's healing someone with bone cancer. That's good. That was from the Lord. The Lord's healing someone whose both knee have been removed. 
Your name is Dwight. Christ is healing right now. Christ is healing many people in our audience. Hallelujah. We don't have time on the air to say everything. Don't throw your medication away. Amen. Check with your physician. There's also some with gallbladder disease. The Lord said he's healing. Amen. So you'll also be, you be having kidney problem. Christ is healing you. Christ is healing many, many things. Many people in our audience. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord.